Good morning. Hi, I'm Karma Connor Marroquin, and I am a registered dietitian and I'm a retired U.S. Public Health Service officer. And so today what I want to do is talk a little bit about the U.S. Public Health Service and what it is because it's my personal mission now that I'm retired <laughs> to continue sharing the message about what the U.S. Public Health Service is because I never knew <laughs> and I just kind of stumbled into learning about the opportunity. I'm going to let you in on the best kept secret in public health because nobody ever told me. 20 plus years ago, I was a new dietitian working part-time and earning about $250 a week. And I thought, is this what I went to school for? Maybe for you, it's not lousy pay. Maybe it's working long hours in the clinic or not getting a day off in your private practice. I was at a dietitian's professional meeting you know, the ones with the big, huge ballrooms and the gaudy carpet. Well, I saw somebody in uniform and I speed walked to catch up to her. And some people might even say that I stopped her just a little. And I may or may not have been a little bit out of breath when I caught up to her. But I said, hey, can you tell me about what you do? And that was the day that I learned about the U.S. Public Health Service. If I hadn't stumbled onto the opportunity and taken action, I would have missed it because I'm retired now and I so appreciate the opportunity I had to earn more than most dietitians, like 99% more and retire early in my forties. I get to stay home now and raise my two and four year old kids and I'm paid to do it. The other day we made homemade donuts, the kind with sprinkles on top because that's important. Today I want to talk about the U S public health service and they have an infographic that tells a little bit more about who they are. So who, who is the U.S. Public Health Service? Who are they? The U.S. Public Health Service Commission Corps is one of the eight uniform services, and it's composed of over 6,000 full-time public health professionals. What do they do? They provide essential health care services to underserved and vulnerable populations. They serve at the forefront of public health emergencies, including natural disasters and disease outbreaks. They lead public health programs and policy development within the Department of Health and Human Services and other parts of the federal government. And they advance innovation in science to address our nation's most challenging public health crises like COVID-19, Ebola, cancer, food safety, mental health, and many more. So where do they work? There's over 800 locations in all 50 states and numerous foreign assignments with duty stations all over 20 federal departments or agencies across the nation. Public health services officers pursue exciting and fulfilling careers as part of the regular Corps. So there are 11 different professional categories, including medical, dental, veterinarian, nurse, therapist, pharmacist, health service, environmental health, dietitian, engineer, and scientist. And I am a registered dietitian by training, and I put in 21 years of service and I retired in 2017. During my time in the U.S. Public Health Service, I worked in the Food Safety Inspection Service Agency within the Department of Agriculture, and I worked in Chicago as an enforcement officer where I went into meat and poultry processing and slaughter establishments and did in-depth food safety audits. And then I finished my career in the position as a regional public health trainer where I trained frontline field inspection personnel from the frontline food inspectors standing on the slaughter line through all the processing inspectors, investigators in the field and um, veterinarians in their primary job duties as it relates to food safety and regulatory requirements. So uh, if you're interested in learning more about the U.S. Public Health Service, you can do that at www.usphs.gov. If you're interested but not sure if you would qualify, I created a quiz that you can take to help you determine whether or not you would be qualified to apply for the U.S. Public Health Service. I'll put a link for that in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it.